In the last lesson, I proposed that the nouns cases and the thematic roles of arguments might be two different things. Now I'd like to illustrate that distinction with some examples and make this really clear as we move on to considering alignment. Let's look at some sentences in Catalan, a language spoken in eastern Spain, and some sentences in Basque, which is a completely separate language spoken in northern Spain. In Basque, the sentence Yonek Bewi Kusidu means John has seen Peter. The sentence Beyuk Yone Kusidu means Peter has seen John. We'll translate those sentences into Catalan as En Juan va veure el Pere and En Pere va veure el Juan. In all of those sentences, we can see that the subject and the object are clearly marked, they're distinct. This is something we'd expect. But something different happens when we look at intransitive verbs in the two languages. In Basque, let's use the example Yonerorita. And in Catalan, the parallel example En Juan Bacaura. Both of these sentences mean John fell in English. In Catalan, the subject of this sentence works exactly like the subject of the transitive sentence. In Basque, it works exactly like the object of the transitive sentence. This supports the idea I put forth earlier, which is that cases and roles are treated as distinct. If we look at the roles of those sentences, with the verb see we have an agent and a patient. With the verb fell we have an experiencer. In Catalan, the agent and the experiencer role are treated identically. They're filled with a noun in the same case, while the patient role is filled with a different case. In Basque, the agent role is filled with a different case than the patient and the experiencer roles. We end up with noun roles filled with nouns from different cases in different languages. Of course, there are names for these two alignments. The first gets called nominative accusative, and the second is ergative absolutive. And these aren't the only ways languages have of handling alignment either. I hope you've been able to strengthen your understanding of grammar. Take the time to review my other linguistics lessons and subscribe to learn some interesting stuff about language. Thanks for learning with me.